I am Dan McFeeders. We're in uh, the town of Caroline. Uh, we're in New York. We're in a log house that I built in the 70s. A lot of interesting things were happening in the 70s, and uh, there were a lot of people that were looking into alternative structures and I was probably one of the least interesting of them because I do like right angles. They're kind of handy. My architectural drawing was done on a napkin at a dinner party. I refined it a little bit after that, maybe uh, add a little graph paper. And I like to think of it as an ongoing project, so it's, it's an unfinished work. If you're going to live in a log house, you want to give that sort of rustic feel to the house. Two inches thick solid maple, which used to be a bowling alley in Eddy Street. Okay, well this is a cozy little room we call the library, which is used for other things as well, but a great deal of reading does get done in here. It turns out we entertain quite a bit in the bathroom because um, we have a, a sauna here. It's a very tight little space, but we've had as many as, as eight people in here at one time, so it can get kind of cozy. I've been heating the, this house since the mid-70s with, with the wood stove right here. This is actually a very recent project. I built in a direct vent gas fireplace, and of course my wife loves it because she can just push a button and she gets a nice cozy fire. I wanted sort of a grand space where you could look all the way up. We use this extensively in the summertime. I use it as a studio space. We have parties in here. In the wintertime, it's kind of storage for uh, a lot of the outdoor furniture. Well, let's walk in around the back of the house. There's a balcony out there. When the day lilies are in bloom, I can uh, stick my head out and look at how spectacular everything looks. My little cabin in the woods. Like Home and Design? Have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Pinterest? So do we. Want to get some free exclusive content and giveaways? So do we. Subscribe to Spaces right here.